think of Oklahoma, I used to think of miles and miles of fields, wheat, corn, soybean, and cotton. I don't think of the hundreds of farmers that work every day, waking up early, tending the farm, sowing the new season's growth, or harvesting last season's efforts. I don't think of the painted desert of the Southwest. I didn't think the beginning stages of a Colorado Rocky started here. The foothills, the Wichita's, then leading to Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado. Hundreds of acres of state parks with all the outdoor activities that didn't know existed, ranging from sand dunes to lakes to waterfalls to mountain ranges. Wildlife refuges filled with the heart of the West, the American buffalo. And thousands of miles of streams leading to lake reservoirs of water. An estimated 70,000 square miles that never existed in the 1930s. They now supply the public with thousands of gallons of water. This isn't the Dust Bowl anymore. This is the heart of the West. No one can forget about the big city. Oklahoma City is known for its cowboy culture, capital complex, and oil-based big business. It hasn't all been easy though. There have been bombings, shootings, and lives lost to sacrifice. But the city remains strong, an icon rivaling its neighbor Dallas. This to me is Oklahoma. It's not just wheat fields and cattle. It's people living a life full of freedom, expression, and most of all, a love and a passion for their country. Mm -hmm.